These are the top five reasons why you need a boost pedal and I'm gonna share with you a few tips on how to use it. My first tip for you is to use a clean boost for different sections of a song. So if you're playing completely clean, you're probably gonna to need to hear yourself a little better during busier parts. So using something like a clean boost will help you cut through the mix. If you're not a fan of tube screamers or clones, a clean boost is a great way to go. If you just need that extra volume, it's there, but there's also tone shaping capabilities via the bass and the treble knob. common mistake to make with boost pedals is to put them before your favorite overdrives. This will result in more gain, but not necessarily more volume. So if what you're looking for is to be heard in different sections of a song, I recommend putting the boost after your favorite pedals. <laughs> Another useful application for a boost is to send it through the effects loop of your amplifier. If you need to boost the overall signal without causing any distortion that would result from the front end of your amp being boosted, or if you need the overall signal to be attenuated, this is a great way to do it. play a Strat and a Les Paul, you know that your single coils tend to sound a bit weaker compared to humbuckers. One great way to level the playing field is to use a boost pedal. <laughs>
If you enjoyed today's video, there are plenty more like it appearing on the screen right now. Just click on one of those links and I'm going to see you in the next one. Cheers.